JDM for all. Thank you guys so much for watching, and today's video is going to be super awesome because I actually have a new mod for my Lexus IS. So today's mod is actually going to include these right here, which are window visors, and they actually have a little chrome um, on them, so they basically just keep the chrome uh, going along the window instead of blocking it. And also, these are pretty good quality visors, and they do have 3M tape on them, which I wanted to make sure I bought visors with 3M tape. So these visors are pretty cool. I'll pull them out and show you guys what they look like right now. All right, so these are the visors, and I have installed lots of visors on my cars before, so it is actually super si simple, and it is an easy mod you can do. And these actually are pretty good quality. I don't know. These might be the best quality visors I've ever bought. These were $44 on eBay. They were 40 something dollars on eBay. And these are actually really nice. They have the chrome that goes along the top and then 3M tape on the back. So we will be installing these today on the Lexus IS and I am definitely excited. All right guys, so first thing we are going to do is test fit this and make sure that it actually aligns and it actually fits this vehicle. All right, so this does fit and it looks great on it. So I am definitely happy and new mods on my Lexus are definitely fun. So I'm going to wipe this down real quick with some alcohol and make sure that is super clean. And then we will be back and installing these visors. Okay, so I just got done wiping down this whole area with alcohol. So basically you can use alcohol swabs like this. And these are just little alcohol wipes and they work pretty good, but you can also use some alcohol and it works just as well. And we are using these alcohol wipes just to make sure that the surface is clean and clear of anything that will stop it from actually sticking to the window to make sure that these visors actually last a long time. All right, so now it's time to install the visors. So let's go. Okay, so I feel like I've explained this a lot in my recent videos, but I have been doing a lot of installs with double-sided tape. So basically, I took off this one right here, the backing for the double-sided tape, and I took this one, uh, I took this one off a little bit, and I took this one off just enough. So basically, I'm going to place it around about where I want it, and it will not be permanent until I actually set it up. All right, so we are done now. Obviously, when you are done placing it and taking off the backing, you wanna press firmly all over the visor. Make sure that this is in place and it is not going anywhere. My personal rule with double-sided tape is to not wash the car for at least a week. You probably could push it and wash the car within a couple days, but I like to at least try to wait a week. My car is a little dusty right now, so it is sad not to wash it right now, but I did want to get these visors on as soon as possible. And now they are on, like I was saying before, so the chrome keeps going with these. These have chrome on them and it looks really good. I really like it. And there's a little cover on it. So I'm gonna be pulling these off and look at that. That looks great. So first one is on, driver's side is done and it looks really good. I love the look of uh, window visors on my vehicles and I always have them usually this is my first mod but I needed the splitter I really wanted the splitter on my Lexus that was one of my very first mods on this Lexus and I definitely love it I love this car this is definitely one of the cars that I wanted to buy for a long time and I am super happy to have it okay so now that this is done it looks great I'm really liking the look and it's time to start on the back one. So I'm going to do the same thing back here. So yeah, this should be pretty quick. All right, and I already placed this one. So I want to show you guys, you basically want to pull these very slowly. I forgot to mention this because if you don't, it can actually break and it's really hard to get it out from underneath the visor. But basically you just pull slowly and lightly and it should come out pretty easily. These are not going to fit exactly super perfect, so um, you can't expect them to be like OEM unless you buy really expensive OEM ones, but uh, I'm a perfectionist, so it does take me a little longer to do mods like this because I just want it to be right on, um, perfectly 
fitted and obviously nothing is perfect. That is the front and the back visor, guys. I'm going to go to the other side and then I'll come back and show you guys what all of them look like. But yeah, I'm liking this. I'm really liking this. Definitely a good look. And it does look a little bit more JDM. It gives it a JDM look. And not only is this an awesome mod that makes your car look better, but it's also functional. Okay, so I'm going to do the other side and we will be back and I'll show you guys what it looks like. All right, guys, so before I actually finish this up, I wanted to show you guys what it looks like with just one on, just to compare it so you can see what it looks like. And that is a big difference. Look at that. That is a huge difference from the front. It just looks, it looks so plain in the front. I mean, this car is amazing without, even without window visors, but it's just a nice add-on that really does change the look. And I don't know, it's just awesome. All right, and we are finished with all of the visors. It came out better than I expected, and I am super happy about this. So this is an easy, cheap mod that you can do on any of your vehicles, and it came out super good. I really like it, and not only do these look awesome, but you can roll down your window when it's raining and rain won't get in your car. Um, it blocks the wind from actually coming in if you crack your windows, which is really cool and it is definitely good. And with this car, when I'd roll down my front windows, wind would blow straight into my face. I don't know if I'm not used to it because all of my vehicles always have uh, visors, but it was definitely like super windy. So this should definitely help with that. And not only that, it also can block the sun from your eyes because basically it's like a little sunshade on your door. And I'm really liking my Lexus. This is another mod that I have installed and done, and I am definitely happy. So I have a few mods on this car, and I will be doing a mod video soon. Now the chrome continues all the way across, and I am super glad I did pay a little bit extra for the chrome visors, because it does show a little bit at the top. Look at that. So right there, there's a little bit of chrome, and then there's chrome right there. So if I didn't get the chrome ones, it would obviously look weird because it would go chrome, 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 no chrome. But not only that, it would show chrome in the back right there. So these do not fit super 100% like OEM, but they do fit pretty good. And I'm definitely happy about this. All right, guys. So that is it for this video. Thank you guys so much for watching. Thank you for making it this far. If you haven't already, please do not forget to like and subscribe. Subscribing helps me out a lot and liking the video. And I want to thank you guys for watching this video. All right, guys, and I will see you guys on the next video.